Thanks very much, Russell and Bjorn, for your previous presentations. And I'm very pleased to be able to join you eventually. I'm Teresa Hadfield of Teresa Hadfield Research and Strategy. And my role here is to take 10 minutes to talk you through my experience of using Prezi as a qualitative researcher. So I've based these thoughts on the strengths and weaknesses as I've found them um, and the feedback that I've sought from clients on Prezi presentations in general, uh, not just my own. Sadly, I'm old enough to remember uh, presenting with overhead projectors and acetates and carrying a spare bowl to presentations with me and I suspect I won't be the only one familiar with that scenario. So for quite a long time I found PowerPoint a great tool for presenting. Um, it looks professional, it's easy to use and it's a relatively quick way of pulling the presentation together. But I was conscious as an independent um, that I was seeing other people's presentations that looked far slicker than mine and I found myself spending more and more time trying to make my presentations more visually interesting. For core research in the end a lot of the debrief is text and it's important to remember that it's the text that clients really need as the leave behind document. I was and I still do um, look for interesting ways to present, present that text adding in quotes in different styles including sound clips and video clips to create full multimedia presentations. However, file sizes were getting very big um, and quite often I couldn't email them through to clients prior to debriefs, uh, which was inconvenient because obviously they wanted to see them in advance. Um, and I was still somewhat disappointed with the overall finished product. Um, I mean, I should say I'm not incompetent on PowerPoint, um, but I'd, I'd seen a couple of really interesting presentations where they were almost all visual, yet they told clear but short stories, and I aspired to have presentations that had a similar visual impact. Just from the Twitter sphere, the comments about PowerPoint are always pretty similar. Um, they focus on the whole death by PowerPoint syndrome. Um, I think PowerPoint is a good tool. Um, and it can be interesting and certainly a, a fair number of the big accountancy firms and the like they send their PowerPoints over to India to be turned into really dynamic vibrant presentations but I'm working with limited time and funds at, so I'm constrained by what I can produce myself in the times my in the time my clients allow. I'd seen Prezi used in academia and I liked the look of it, but I thought it looked a little unstructured and informal for my needs. And frankly, on Twitter, the comments about Prezi are not always complimentary. But um, I've seen some fantastic ones. Guy Murphy of JWT did a great one about fun and branding, and it was shaped like a teddy bear, and he worked the presentation around the bear. So I thought, right, I'm going to give it a go. Um, I'm quite sure I don't use Prezi to its maximum potential. But even with my limited skills, I've used it, I've found it much easier to create more visually compelling presentations, um, but it's not suitable for all occasions, um, and you know, it does have limitations, but it's a great alternative to PowerPoint. There are some definite downsides. Um, no matter what, um, it won't help you create better content. Um, and there is actually a danger that more, uh, more visually interesting, the more visually interesting the presentation is, the more it can expose the poor analysis uh, because people are tending to pay more attention to what you're saying. But we're living in a world of short sound bites and short attention spans, so visually commanding attention and getting clients to listen to your narrative is important. Um, I think it's even more vital to carry them with you if you've got to deliver unwelcome or controversial feedback. I think Prezi's take a lot more time and planning than a PowerPoint. Um, that may be because there are so many ways to build and develop the Prezi. It's almost as if you've got too much choice. Uh, so it's not an ideal tool for the top line debriefs where time is tight. And I found that I need to know my structure, the whole narrative, before I start creating the presentation. This can be a positive because it means that my content in Prezi is generally sharper and more clearly thought through. But it's also harder if there's a less clear narrative to tell. 
With PowerPoint, I can always start the presentation and it can grow and evolve as I write it. It's simple to reorder charts and add things in, but I find that stuff much harder and more time consuming to do in a Prezi. In the end, my best Prezi's have a very clear storyboard to follow. Uh, the other side is that Prezi's definitely need a supporting document. They're a very poor record of what was communicated at the presentation. Uh, personally, I don't mind that because I find PowerPoint unsatisfactory as a standalone document anyway. Uh, I think there's a tendency with PowerPoint to keep adding to the deck because it will be the record of the research and therefore, you know, before you know it, you end up presenting all of it rather than the actual key story. On the positive side with Prezi, it's so easy to use. Um, I've found its particular strengths are in being able to give visual variety. So, for instance, in this presentation, things like the use of the post-it notes or the handwritten arrows or the words that link charts, you don't have to worry about resizing type or that perennial battle between the number of words on a chart and keeping the point size big enough for it to be legible. It's very easy to create visual interest and to show um, differences, to make points clearer. And um, Just here, using the symbols and colors, to represent how men and women might have responded differently. In addition, it's incredibly easy to drop in video clips or visuals. There's a very simple three-step process of selecting what type of file you want to insert, identifying it on your computer, and then just clicking. Now, one of the drawbacks of this webinar format is that I can't demonstrate to you here just how quickly you can do this. There are, of course, areas though where it is less than perfect. Um, and one of the examples here is that you're, you should be able to simply just drop PowerPoint charts into a Prezi presentation. But um, it doesn't always appear quite as you'd expect it to here. Now, I think this is because Prezi doesn't support as many fonts as PowerPoint does. Um, but once you've got this in your Prezi, you can't then edit it. Um, so it is a bit of a limitation there. There may be other reasons that um, this kind of thing goes wrong uh, that I haven't identified as yet. Um, the other side of Prezi is that it's very easy to get carried away with its serpentine nature. Some clients say they loathe Prezi presentations and their two particular bugbears are when it moves about so much that they end up feeling seasick or when it zooms in so fast that they feel like they're on a roller coaster. And their concerns are not only that the sensation is unpleasant, but the presentation style, rather than assisting communication, actually seems to detract from it. Um, Prezi is dynamic, and it has some animations that you can put straight in. So this is actually, the spider style here, is something that a Prezi will do for you automatically. Um, and again, the limitations of the webinar, I mean, I can't take you through this in the natural flow um, that you will see in a Prezi presentation. But it starts in the center and moves out and zooms in and then moves around, zooms back and so forth. Um, basically, it's very easy for the viewer to lose their sense of the overall framework. Um, and certainly that's one of the aspects which clients say they really dislike. Um, I think in a way I'm a little bit old fashioned in my use of Prezi space. Um, Unless there is an overall shape to frame the story, I like my flow to move basically west to east. Um, I need to make things easy for the viewer because I want to take them with me and keep them focused on the content and what I'm saying. I don't want them particularly distracted or challenged by what they're seeing because if they're struggling with what's been shown, they won't be listening. Uh, I was talking to somebody from the film industry who was explaining about how if you want to surprise or scare an audience, the action often comes in from right to left. So if you watch a film like Jagged Edge, the knife always comes in from stage right because our attention and expectation is focused towards the left-hand side of the screen. So I guess unless you do want to scare or surprise your clients, um, I'd advise judicious use of Prezi dynamism. Overall, uh, I think it's a great tool for some presentations. 
um, but I do use it carefully. Um, in the end, as a client said to me, it's, it is just another presentation technique. It doesn't make any difference how dynamic a Prezi or how smart your transitions and builds are in PowerPoint. If the content's not there, it's not good. And I hope that's been useful. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs>